guys, Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to the Is the Order a Rabbit OVA's Dear My Sister and Sing For You. Okay, so for the Dear My Sister one, I actually um, put it in parts because like I edited it and I got it to where it was the whole thing without the um, kiss anime intros and then plus the intro that comes before it. Um, and it was like 59 minutes and I think 30 something seconds. And I was like, oh, if I just do that by itself, it's okay. Well, no. Because at the same time, like, I can go only really an hour. And then once it's done, and if there's anything I need to say, it's just going to break up. And I don't want it to happen. So, um, I will be watching the first 30 minutes and 6 seconds for this half. And then the second half will be the second half of the series. Uh, well, OVA. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with part 1 in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. I have been like waiting to do this, but I've been so busy. Okay, we're running. What are we running? Why are we running? Uh oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, Coco is okay. She's going to go visit her family. Okay, I guess that yeah, because you know I've kind of wanted that for a while. Because Mocha visited her, it would make sense for her to go home. Oh my God, really, Coco? You're crying. It'll only probably be a couple of days, maybe a week. Y'all serious? Uh, why are you making me? Even though freaking Chia is freaking Ritsu's voice actor, every single time when her and Kokoa is literally Ritsu and Yui, Kaon all over again, even though that is not Yui, <laughs> but she acts like Yui, so it's not even funny. Oh my god. <laughs> the three children crying. Oh my god. She's just gonna go for a week. Oh my god. I get that. Don't worry. I really do. But it's gonna be okay. You'll be back. I think she was being honest about that, but... <laughs> See, I'm also getting, like, really weird feel slash vibes, like, especially with Gino and Gogo, because of the fact that they're voice actresses. 
are in the quintessential quintuplets together and they play sisters. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> this is going to be good. So it would have been nice if everybody would have been able to go, but I get that. Are you going on a vacation too? Okay. It's kind of good that they're going to go back and forth between what the girls are doing and what Coco is doing because I honestly thought it would just be Coco. Oh. Fino. I have such a. You sure?
finally home? She's got to be. Unless she got to walk. Oh my god. Imagine if you have to walk the rest of the way home. Pretty. Dang, she really walking the rest of the way. You know what? That's okay. Because the walk will do her good. She can look at nature, see everything in its beauty, and just take it all in, you know? Huh. I feel like something's going to happen when she opens that door. See, well, the one thing that I kind of really wish that the Bandini uh, collab did with this show <laughs> that, like, everybody had a tippy hat. Like, that would have been so cute, but no. <laughs> they just gave them the outfits for every cafe. Like, no tippy hat or anything. Or any other rabbit hat. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, so she's only been gone for almost like a year? Damn. <gasps> She'll be fine! <laughs> Yeah, you relax. Oh my god. Oh. oh no. 
you know, you kind of have to think about it how way before Coco came in, how it was all peace and quiet and stuff. Exactly, it's quiet. And then you got to think about it now. Like, Chino was probably happy that she was pissed in the beginning. Now she's sad because she's not around. Like, oh my God. Poor baby. <laughs> she's making like a whole bunch of ice cocoa. <laughs> of course. Flashback? No. Yes? The feeling of these two together is literally kill me, baby. <laughs> So adorable. Oh, he's so cute, my baby. No. Of course Liz would be freaking listening. Oh my god, girl. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, but you feel good now that everything's nice and sparkly, right? That's not a reward!
You know, I honestly thought Mayu Megu would have stayed with her for the night. I think everybody is Coco is sick in their own special line. Well, you're Chino sick because you're worried about Chino. She can text them all before she goes back home. You sure did, hun. Oh. Yeah, but that tells you Liz made it. Or, you know, her dad possibly made it. I know! The secret. Yeah, because she made it.
It has to be. All the clues are right there. <laughs> oh my god. Maya, do your homework. It's easy to do summer homework. You see, if I had to worry about summer homework, you do it at the beginning of summer so then you have the whole rest of the summer to chill out, do whatever the heck you want to do, and then next thing you know, it's maybe the last few weeks of summer and you ain't got to worry about it and stress about it. <laughs> Shut up and be like, yes, I want one. You could just teach them. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, fireworks. Yeah. Oh. my heart right now like oh my god my child oh my god I'm about to cry <laughs> oh it was so cute They're going to be up already. Mm hmm It's so cute. <laughs> Oh my god, look at the little bride. 
Oh, you could just cut that out and make put ice cream in it. Ah! Okay, so it just stopped. For what we've seen already from the first half, this is so freaking good. I love Coco's mom. I don't know who she's voiced by, but she's her voice is really, really good. I, it's somewhat familiar, so I'm going to take a little guess. I think she's voiced by, um, I don't remember her name, but I'm trying to think of like any character that she's really voiced. The one that I can automatically think about, if it's possibly her, she voiced one of the um, one of the characters in Cells at Work, and it seems like it's her. I'm not 100% sure, but just the way her voice is going, and I'm like, that's got to be her. And I think the person who also voiced her voiced um, What's-Her-Face's aunt in um, Happy Sugar Life. I I'm not 100% sure. But her mom's sweet. Like, oh my god. But then also, I love the fact is that we got, we're able to see you know, Coco at home and how she acts around home and her family and what she does to see her work. Even though, yeah, like when she's at the rabbit house, she works and she's hanging out with the girls and everything. But to see her around her mom, her older sister, and just being in that environment of family and it's like that. It's just so sweet. And I mean, my God, she's on top. She's so high up on the mountain, but she can't get reception unless she goes into town. And the fact that she tried to go Chino. The Chino was on a call. <laughs> like, oh my god. But I do also love the fact is that um this also went into the backstory of Liz's and Chino's relationship before Coco came in. Because I when I was first watching the show and they kind of when when you see these two together and you're always wondering like what their relationship could have been like, and I don't think I never really truly asked it during the series. It was just in the back of my mind, like, any time when Liz and Chino had a conversation or just maybe had a moment together. But finally, you give it to me. So, I mean, like, with the OVAs, they are, I would say, they're, there's stuff that happens really personally after season two instead of season one. Because, like, I ultimately thought that this OVA was after season one, but um, Mocha doesn't come in until season two. So I get that. So then song, um, Sting For You is also going to be after season two. So yeah, it's good that I waited until now because if I think I, if I had have watched um, Dear My Sister first after season one, I would have been able to see Mocha now. And then I was like, oh my God, are you coming to see her in like season two or anything like that? So I'm glad that this happened. But I mean, I'm happy that she's able to like freaking freaking ask the girls to go to the firework festival. I just hope that Coco can make it back in time. I'm freaking... Like, you start the freaking, not even, not even that, no. You go into the opening. You end the opening. You're getting ready to watch more of the episode. And you just, because, uh, like, my thing was, I was like, you know what we're missing? We're missing best girl, Aoyama. And you were just like, there she is. <laughs> so I'm kind of hoping that in the second half of this, Aoyama makes one more appearance, but if it doesn't happen, you got Sing For You, which is only 25 minutes, so of course she's going to be in it. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for the second half of this <laughs> of this movie. <laughs> okay, part two in three, two, one, go. Aww. And their same hairstyle and everything, so cute. Huh? <laughs> I want a scooter so bad. I like the color too. I would either get it in, in that green or a bluish color, maybe even like silver, not red. Red is too popular. When you get a car or anything, never go for red or black. Those are the two most popular colors. And bam, you get stopped. And like, sometimes I'm usually getting stopped by police. It depends. That's what my parents always told me. And plus those two, like, because it's red and black and they're the most popular colors, they're the most expensive.
Does she get motion sick? <laughs> I don't know why, but the way her town gives me, like, okay, if the town were Rabbit House, the other cafe vibes give me a French vibe, her town gives me more of, like, a Venice, Italy vibe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> My sandwich looks so good. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Breakfast kind Oh. So basically the morning rush hour. Well, you two are screwed. AKA multitasking. A little. <laughs> oh, you're so adorable.
Stick a whole apple. Good. So pretty. Hold up, like everybody is sleeping over? <laughs> I know, please go finish your homework like this. <laughs> this child, oh my god. Of course. My daughter is turning into a freaking magical girl, and I love it. <laughs> I 
I swear to God, if they did not make a figure of her like that, like, girl, I would be so pissed. She looks so adorable. What are you hold? Are you holding your mom's boot? No. <laughs> you want to see the fireworks today, don't you? Uh, Mocha. <laughs> Better, I swear to God, make that the season three OVA. Don't do a wheelie this time, Mocha. <laughs> well, she already did that one time. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, drunk Chino. <laughs> It's okay, you can throw up on the drain. That's good. Best girl wrote a book. <laughs> 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 
no, that's smart. <laughs> my child drunk on caffeine Watch out, Yama, be in that secret spot, too. I'm just saying. I don't think she's going to make it. <laughs> of course. Try calling her back. That too. Oh, Chino. Oh, she made it. Of course, her girlfriend would hug her first. <laughs>
Yes. <laughs> You're only saying that because you're drunk. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. <laughs> I am too, baby. I'm so proud of you. You gonna say welcome home? Oh my god, she's gonna kill me. Oh, Tino! Honey! Oh my god, this was so good. That was so freaking sweet. Oh my god. Like, bro. Oh, thank you, Eliana. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm crying. Oh my god. This was such a good OVA for, like, the first one. And that makes me really excited to see what the heck is gonna happen in the second one. But that was so good. I'm so freaking happy that we got to see... Kogo is home because I mean you know just seeing it and like just a picture it, it's okay but like just seeing the town and how possibly lively or quiet it was that's good I'm happy oh my god <laughs> oh my god this was just like literally an episode where Chino just missed the crap out of Kogo everybody you know in their own special way either was worried about somebody else like with Liz worrying about Chino because Chino missed Coco like oh my god I'm gonna cry again <laughs> but yeah it's true everybody in their own special way missed Coco I'm not saying that like Coco in a way Coco brought all the girls together and I mean if she leaves she's like the one that held everybody together but they all had relationships with each other prior to Coco appearing, she just brought them all together and had them like get a better friendship and deepen their bonds together. But it was sweet and really not to have Coco like be in the episode, but she's still in the episode, but she's not around the girls that she's really with her mom and her sister. I still kind of wish that we got to see her brother, um, her brothers and her father, but who knows? They might do that with season three. I mean, Mocha came in season two. I would like to see maybe Mocha and her mom possibly go visit um, Cocoa, but I don't think that's going to happen. But I do love the fact is that um, Cocoa said she might bring the girls to see her hometown. That's a good idea. Do that in season three or make it a season three OVA. Because I'm assuming that they're going to do an OVA or OVAs for season three. I mean, you did it for after season two. So it's like kind of possible, maybe. I mean, I would like to see it. Heck, I, I would love to have like a freaking OVA all about Aoyama and her backstory. And it's, I think that would be really good, but it's really just up to them and what they possibly want to do. But it was a really good OVA and I liked it a lot. I think just the story of it and the gist of it was really good. And I love the fact that it is like literally set after season two because of, of so many like different reasons. I love the fact that in the end, it was Liz who made the bunny for Chino and their relationship bonded and deepened on that level and that she was making bunny rabbits for both Maya and Megu and then they made one for um, Kokoa but we didn't really get to see it so I'm guessing there's gotta be an after credit scene and 
Coppola is going to get the rabbit from Chino and it's just going to be so freaking cute. Like, here, I don't know. I even love the part that, like, you, you know, you had a dream sequence that was almost very similar to the Fate, uh, Fate Heavens Feel second movie, but it wasn't deadly. It was just cute. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, she's like, a bad, she's a witch. She was turning bunnies. <laughs> Oh my god, it was so cute. And so Gogo, and Gogo Chino comes in and she turns all the bunnies into Tiffy. I swear to god, like seriously, release a figure of her as a freaking magical girl. I have seen figures and I honestly did not see what one of Chino. Like, I've seen some really good ones that are like 30 something dollars. And uh, the most expensive one that I've seen is about 200, between 200 and 300 dollars of Chino. And she looks freaking cute. Like, oh my god. I was just like, look at my baby. I just want one to commemorate this series. Because I think now I'm starting to get, like, figures from whatever show, whatever character I like in the show. It would have been better if they had an Aoyama, but no. Because I gotta get a Kaede figure for Idol Master. It's literally everybody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a witch. I know, but your sister wore it, though. Mm-hmm. You're home away from home. That was freaking cute. I loved it so damn much. Like, oh my god. I just can't even imagine what the other, what Sting for you is going to be like. If Dear My Sister was literally about the sisters and Goko going home, what the heck is Sting for you going to, oh my god, wait, oh my, what if it's a talent show episode, oh my god, that would be so cute. But I hate the fact that it's only really 25 minutes because I think when I, um, when I first downloaded this episode, uh, Dear My Sister, and I accidentally deleted it, I didn't. I thought it was going to be maybe like a two-parter episode where it was like maybe just two episodes in one and it's just no, it's just one whole freaking episode. But whatever thing for you is just going to be about, I honestly cannot wait to see it. But like really, this was good. I enjoyed it a lot and it was just so freaking sweet. It was nice to have, you know, my other best girl Mocha come in, their mom. Their mom is so freaking pretty and just like, oh my god, you can see how much she looks like her mom. Like, oh my god, like that ass. I mean, seriously, like, if you put Coco's mom, Mocha, and Coco next to the quintessential quintuplets, you just, they all look the same. Dead eyes. Because of the fact that they all kind of technically have the same orangey, reddish hair color, except, like, one of my other best girls, because, like, Nino, Nino has, like, oh, God, Nino has, like, kind of, not reddish, it's more of my other best girl. She has more reddish hair with stars in it, and I love her so freaking much. I love them all, but, like, oh, my God, like, seriously. This is so freaking horrible. Like, they could be a part of the family. Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. Ah! <laughs> but still, I mean, you know, when you take characters that kind of look alike, and you're like, dang, y'all could be related. That's really what it is for quintessential good templates. And freaking Gogo's family in this show, like, oh, my God, they could be, like, cousins. <laughs> That would be so cute. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. But yeah, that was a really good OVA. But go ahead, pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for C.
sing for you and hopefully like whatever the heck happens for sing for you it's gonna be freaking good <laughs> but i'll see you in one second okay all right let's go ahead and get started in three two one go My god, are we getting baby Tina? Please? Oh my god! <laughs> Right. What happened to Gino? What exactly happened though? Does she have a fever? Are two different things. Yes, I get that. Yay. For singing? Uh, no. <laughs> Wait, Tina! Right. Heck, I would be worried too, because you never know what those three could plot. This is the stuff that Deku had to worry about in season one of My Hero. <laughs> he was dirty with all my. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Good job, babe. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, you couldn't wait to do that after she did the solo. <laughs> You're gonna make her hungry! Oh, you got her drunk. I know! Oh my god, is she actually gonna sing? That was so freaking cute, oh my god. You don't even remember what you just did? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ooh. Hold the heck up, you see? Oh my god, it's this good
if they don't get, I swear to God, if they do not get Aoyama to freaking sing, we gonna have a problem. Like, oh my God. Making me hungry. I'm melon bun from pretzel. <laughs> so cute. Mm-hmm. You'll do fine. Can we get a flashback of her mom singing? Did they really like explain about her mom? What happened to her? Because I don't really remember. I know, right? <laughs> Sure.
No. It's okay. I want to support you. <laughs> oh my god, to me.
Be fine with it. <laughs> Uh, her voice is so freaking pretty. Oh my god. That mother daughter relationship is so freaking cute. Oh my god, it was so freaking adorable! Oh my god, but it was short, and it was freaking quick and cute as hell! Like, oh my god, whoever played her mom, like, Jesus, that's a nice voice, too. Shoot, I'm gonna have to do some research after when this edits. But oh my god, my baby daddy, he's so freaking cute! Oh my god, I'm so proud! Oh! <laughs> but it was like her solo it was just so freaking adorable like oh my god i was scared too i was like oh my god she might not be able to do it she's just gonna probably be like i oh my god it, when little kids sing it's so freaking adorable i mean you know when we were all kids and we had to do a concert i don't know if every school had to do it but i know in my not in my elementary school when I was living here as a kid, but the elementary school that I went to in Nebraska, I had we had concerts and we had to do them. And so, but it was so cute, oh my God, just to be able to sing for our parents, especially you know around the holidays. It's, you know, it's almost Christmas, but by the time you guys see it, it'll be Christmas and such. Just those like the little things and everything. It was so freaking cute. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I watch this over again, please? Because, oh my god, it's so cute, baby. I really don't know what else to say about it, but it was a damn good episode. Like, oh my god, both episodes are unique and different at the same time. I mean, Sing, Sing For You was just literally nothing but, you know, singing. That's all it was. And learning about her mom. I'm happy we got to learn more about her mom because I had always wondered from the beginning of the show about her mother. I don't really remember if they ever really talked about her or this is really from the Soviet the only time that they really necessarily talk about her. But if it isn't, I'll look after I'm done watching this. It would have been so good if Aoyama Sarami got to sing. But no, it's okay. I'm not bitter. You got season three to change my mind. <laughs> On the flowers. My God, she's so fucking cute. My heart, like, oh my god. Jesus Christ, that was so freaking good. But like I said, both were freaking good as heck. But like this one, oh my god, my baby. It was so adorable. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, why'd you do that to me? Jesus, but still. Now it makes me wonder like what they could possibly do because I was assuming I think around the time when I finished um both season one and season two, I was thinking the show was gonna air in the winter and it, of course that ain't if i could give it now i probably either say spring or summer probably not fall maybe but i don't know i mean i'm ready to just see what in the world these girls are going to get to in season three and i kind of just really want season three to be here right the freak now because i just i don't want to wait because see 
I'm already waiting for like several other shows, not the shows that I'm going to watch into winter, but anything that predominantly ends this week and saying that, oh, hey, it's not coming on until April. So that's freaking possibly Sora Online, maybe Fire Force, uh, No Guns Life, because that is coming back in April officially. Um, Ascendance of a Bookworm. So it's like four or five, four shows as of right now. And then maybe even anything else. Freaking Pretty Cure starts at the end of next month. So, you know, that's not really waiting that long. But, like, having to wait until April is the longest time. But because of the fact is we don't know when season three, like, is predominantly really going to air. We have a date, which is sometime in 2020. But just not really a month and a number just of the day. And I hope we get to know soon. I mean, whether it's just, I don't know. They're preparing, and then the day when it comes, whether it's in spring or summer or fall of 2020, I'm going to be so excited for it because my babies, it's just going to be a, probably a little while until we see them. But you know what? The day when it comes and when season three is here, I'm going to be so freaking happy. And the fact is that we'll be able to watch it week to week together instead of it being like, you guys have already seen the show and I'm just watching it. <laughs> I think it's going to be so good. It's so freaking sweet. And honestly, I just can't wait. It's going to be really, really good. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that I'm hoping. Um, Aoyama gets more successful with her books because we know she's already successful. I do want Mocha and, um, Kokwa's mom to come and visit them along with Mocha. Um, the girl's going to go see um, Kokwa's home. Maybe learning a little bit more about Chino's mom, even though it was just in this OVA, but I still think they should do something more with her in season three. Um, anything really for Shadow, uh, Chiha, uh, Liz, any one of the girls. More episodes really focusing on them because, I mean, each girl for both of the two seasons got enough focus and uh character development in it of course i do want to see liz with her hair down again and hopefully it happens because i just want chino to be like oh my god beautiful lady <laughs> it's like that be like oh don't wait and not liz like, yeah it is it's like the whole entire time there's so many things i want to see these two my girls do and it's gonna be so good but other than that guys it is my reaction view towards is the Odor Rabbit OVAs Dear My Sister and Sing For You. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys sometime from whenever the heck Season 3 decides to come. Because that's the thing. That's what we're currently waiting for. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.